Nicole Jo and I'm back with another video. Hello to all my new subbies and if this is your first time joining my channel definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell button as well so you can be notified anytime I do any type of upload. So today I decided to film this video because I was inspired. I'm on Facebook and you know how people create those random groups um, so I'm in one of those random groups and it's a actual makeup form so I've been seeing some cringe worthy things and um they have to do with skincare so a lady posted a photo and if i can find the photo i'll insert in the clip but anyways she posted a photo of her skin and she asked for solutions on her skin and she had hyperpigmentation she had blemishes she had black spots and she had breakouts all like in one combination so um she asked for suggestions and people were suggesting things there were a lot of good suggestions on there but then there was some gosh awful ones there was a ton of awful ones and it was just things that people were suggesting that you honestly shouldn't put on your face and so I got to thinking if people are saying do this they probably don't know not to put it on their face or why they shouldn't put it on their face so I have a list of things that you actually should not be putting on your face if you're doing this you might want to stop doing this um but um this isn't a long list i just picked the most top common ones that i always hear people say and the ones that just make me like gag and wanna oh my gosh i don't know cringe whatever i'm just like sometimes i see these responses and i'm like girl bye don't tell nobody to do that but um yes so keep watching but the first thing is toothpaste oh my gosh y'all stop telling people to put toothpaste on their spots the thing is is with toothpaste and what people don't realize is is people use it as a way to dry out pimples and make them go away however pimples actually um well sorry not pimples but toothpaste actually if you apply it to a pimple on your face a spot on your face it has the potential to raise the melon in your skin which causes discoloration in that spot in those areas that you apply it and it can just turn into blemishes for the most part so if you are using toothpaste and you notice that you're um getting dark spots in behind that pimple that has gone away that's why because it causes toothpaste actually causes dark spots so things that you can do alternatives you can use some type of drying lotion um i know mario has one mario b uh it's a drying lotion you can get it at ulta it's 17 dollars um serious skincare has a drying lotion it's 22 dollars i've actually used both of those um i prefer the serious skincare one over the mario b um, if that's too high for your price range, you can actually use Neutrogena. I use their on the spot corrector. Um, it has a benzoyl peroxide in it. It has it's the two percent one. Um, you can get that. I want to say that is five ninety nine. You can also get their rapid um, rapid spot corrector, and that has ten percent. I'll insert in the picture of that one because I'm really not sure. Uh, um, how much that one is but that actually has 10% benzoyl peroxide in it. I want to say that's like $10.99. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. So those are actually alternatives to help reduce the spots on your face. Uh, the next product is body lotion. So if you have body lotion and I know people do this a lot. Body lotion has a lot of less um, nutrients in it. So it has a lot less nourishing um properties within the makeup of the lotion um so a lot of times if you notice you're putting body lotion on your face and your face is getting drier that's why um it actually can cause skin irritation it can be uh way more drying because a lot of lotions are made up of fragrances and other type of products that aren't necessarily great for your face when it comes to moisturizing um so um there's a ton of moisturizers out there i know if you have dry skin you can can use the Garnier dry skin gel moisturizer comes in a little pink bottle it's $5.99 I use that one I also use um, the day turn daytime turnaround moisturizer from Clinique I use the moisture surge from Clinique I have extremely dry skin um, I've also used Neutrogena has a moisturizer 
what's the name of that one? Because I've used something from them too. I can't think of the name, but I'll enter it in a picture as well. There are plenty of affordable moisturizers that you can get your hands on. Um, I know Giovanni has a uh, moisturizer. It has a bunch of antioxidants in it. That's good for all skin types. So if you don't want to pay a lot of money on moisturizer, there's a bunch of drugstore alternatives that you guys can use in order to achieve um, well-balanced and well-nourished skin. The third most common thing I see, and this is crazy to me um just the smell alone would not make me want to put this on my face but most common thing is vinegar um a lot of people want to use vinegar especially apple cider vinegar that is extremely popular around the beauty community hair care community everybody likes vinegar um however vinegar the more age that it gets the less water that it has so it can also have a drying effect and the longer it sits on a rack or wherever the stronger it gets so it has the potential to absolutely just burn your face and break you out um alternatives for vinegar is getting some type of astringent um, I know, um, or toner, depending on your skin type, um, if you are dry skin, um, you should stick to toners. Neutrogena has a toner that actually has benzoyl peroxide. They also have a toner that has salicylic acid in it. Um, I strongly think those are astringents. However, um, if you do have acne prone skin, those are definitely toners you should check into. Elizabeth Arden has a toner. I personally use that toner. Um, Number seven has a toner. Um, Clinique has a bomb toner. It's a three-step toner. Um, and all these are ranges of different things. Everybody pretty much has a toner. Origins has a toner that I really like. Um, it's a water tonic. I'll insert in a picture of that one as well. That one's pretty good. Um, but there's plenty of toners out there that will do the exact same thing that uh, vinegar is supposed to do for you because basically it's just supposed to give you that acidic -y vibe to balance out your skin however it doesn't always balance out your skin especially depending on how long that vinegar has been sitting wherever it's been sitting so it actually can be have the opposite effects if that makes sense um the next thing is hair hair dye so that is you might be thinking what who puts hair dye on their face but a lot of people actually use hair dye to dye their eyebrows which is horrible hair dye has so many chemicals especially the box hair dye it just oh my gosh so many chemicals harsh chemicals that is just completely bad it could potentially make your eyebrows fall out and um you can have spots all over your eyebrows um i've noticed uh i've seen videos where people are like oh my gosh this hair dye made my eyebrows fall out well that's because it has a ton of chemicals that should not be on your face and they're very very harsh chemicals so if you're looking to dye your eyebrows i would use some type of eyebrow tint um i personally never had to do that i've always had thicker eyebrows and mine's always been black so i've never really dyed it even when i had my uh hair care a different color i never dyed it i would just get a, a mac pencil and pencil over it but outside of that i personally never dyed it so i don't really have any suggestions for that um but there are plenty of tints out there um that you can get as a alternative um deodorant oh my gosh people put deodorant on their face i guess it's supposed to stop you from um your makeup from melting away that's a no 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 please don't do that that's so disgusting anyways especially if you've been using that deodorant get your life um but <laughs> it's supposed to uh, like I said stop your makeup from melting away however it actually clogs your pores and stops your skin from breathing so it actually can cause you to break out so that is a no no yeah I wouldn't put this on my face just because I don't like the texture of it and it's actually yeah the texture of it is actually really not that fabulous um but <sighs> um 
mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is actually good for your hair. I have put it in my hair um, when I've done like a deep condition. I made a base using mayonnaise and other things. Um, however, it's so acidic -y that it's actually not good for your face. And this is another thing that actually clogs your pores. So I would not, not, not put this on your skin. This is not good for your face. It clogs your pores, which ultimately can cause breakouts and just a hot, nasty mess. So um, keep mayonnaise out of your beauty regimen. Oh, and the last thing, y'all stop putting glue on your face. Like, I don't even know why people are putting glue on their face for a mask. Like, just because you see somebody doing it doesn't mean you should hop on that bandwagon. I don't, whatever. Don't put glue on your face. Like, there's a lot of issues with glue. Like, a lot. But that is not, glue is to glue paper. That's, that's what you need to do. And to be honest, some of us are way too old to be gluing paper. I'm just saying. Unless you're like a school teacher or you have kids or something like that, you don't need even you don't even need glue in your household outside of well, I guess you can do it for like weaves and stuff like that. But that's something completely different. Like glue is not a part, should not be a part of your face mask. Like, get your life. If you nah. I don't even want to address that. But anyways, no glue. No, 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 no glue. <laughs> but anyways, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Um, bye, guys.